Hello and welcome back with me, Admiral, joining me back on Star Trek Fleet Command. So, joining me back on the bridge, sorry about the delay in this video. I was meant to release it yesterday, but things just got out of hand and I wasn't able to. So, here we are today. Uh, so, this video is going to be directed to the lower level players um, who have just joined the game recently. Probably, I would say, I would argue and say maybe even just this year alone. So, from, from obviously January onwards. Uh, and this may or may not help you, uh, all of you people. Um, the high level players, obviously, I would ask for your assistance in this as well, in terms of leave your feedback, let other players of the lower levels know um, what type of crew layout you might use or what type of sort of ships you use them with and this, that, and the other. And it might help everyone along the way. So, the question that I got asked was, as a low-level player, and we're talking below level 20, I believe it was, or I think it was 15, so below level 20, what type of crews do you use for mining, uh, with what ships, and so on and so on. So these are the, I will go through the crews first, and then we'll talk about the ships in more detail a little bit later on. So the crews itself, so these are the three um, miners, or sort of the three different survey crews or that you get or officers that you get um, and you get them at the start of the game pretty much at some point you will definitely 1000 unlock these three officers at the very very start of the game they are three common officers and they all have different obviously mining abilities so for example this layout here is predominantly towards tritanium mining as you can see there he obviously gets a boost towards that if you switch over we get then dilithium and we then have pass deal with Hel Hel Helvia, yes, that's a name. And then they have obviously their own abilities on the bottom to help with warp speeds with or without a full cargo. And yeah, that's pretty much um, the basic. This is the single-handedly base, most basic mining crew. At very early game, if I'm honest, you're not going to really be mining pass deal, tri trit or dilithium too much you're going to want to be mining obviously g2 g3 um starting to demand g3 anyway but mainly g2 or gas or crystal and with that you're going to want to obviously specialize a little bit when it comes to your officers and the way to do that in my opinion is to try obviously it will take time but you want to try and get the three different mining officers and they include uh, Talan, uh, to print, to bring Talan, uh, to bring, sorry, Barrett and Ston. I can't click him because he's on an away team at the moment. But these are the three officers that you obviously inevitably want to get in the end. If you can only manage to get one of them, say, for example, you can only manage to get to bring, that's perfectly fine. Obviously, you want to use her for her gas mining ability, which is here. And then to go compound with that, you want to then get the best layout possible with her. As you can see here, they have plus 30% on both sides. Therefore, she's getting a plus 60% with regards to her abilities. And that is incredibly good. I don't think it shows until I actually activate it. So as you can see here, because she had a 40% base, she's then getting an extra 60% from obviously the two officers combined. Therefore, her mining rate goes up uh, for gas to 100%. And that doesn't matter what ship she is on. That is just flat 100% better mining speed overall, uh, which is obviously incredibly good for when she wants to do gas. And again, that doesn't matter whether it's G2, G3, G4, G5, gas. It really doesn't matter. It'll just be gas in general. And that's the type of thing you want to aim for. The good thing about Tepring as well, she has obviously the protected cargo, which you obviously want to get as well. But that you can do that for any of the officers. So, for example, if you put Barrett there, as you can see, it's gone down. So you need to just test and adjust to see which officers give him the best outcome. And this one is the best one for Barrett. So plus 30, plus 30. So you just need to test and adjust and see who goes best with who. But you want to try and get that plus 60%. And if you are going to mine any of the different materials in the game, I would advise trying to get these three officers at some point in, the, obviously, your early game. 
Uh, even if they obviously are low level, they will still provide obviously much benefit um, when it comes to mining the different materials. And specifically, you should mine using them officers when it comes to mining them specific materials. Uh, obviously, if you can only focus on one material at a time, obviously, then you might only have one officer at a time. Then focus on that one material, figure out which faction needs that one material, and arguably just start faction mining that certain faction that you have that one officer for. And to be honest, you should be perfectly fine. For the other materials, so, so for when you're doing, obviously, your refinery pulls, the best way to do it is to just keep mining with this same crew layout that you're going to use for the one one mining because quite frankly it doesn't actually make too much of a difference when it comes to them mining the 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 other materials in the game if you don't have all three of the officers available to you just go with whatever your best mining crew set up for one material and then just use that same crew to mine all the three different materials that you need i.e obviously gas crystal and uh, gas yeah gas crystal and ore just use the same officers as it will make no difference other than mining that specific material on its own. Obviously, if you have all three of the officers available to you, as we do here, then my advice is to use them specifically for these crew layouts. Use them, uh, obviously, as the officer, get the bonus, and you will obviously benefit from that in the long run. Going on to ships, I'm going to discard that. Going on to ships, uh, well, we may as well show you this one while we're here. So we've got this, this is obviously a faction ship. This is incredibly good ships. These are level 30 plus though, as you can only get these at level 30. So when you can, and when you do get to level 30, I do advise to get a fac all three faction ships as they are incredibly good. But going into the actual low end sort of ship. So you're gonna start off with the ECS Fortunate. And to be honest, it's not a great miner, but you just gotta deal with it. Um, just put whatever mining crew that I've just showed you on this. Go and start mining what you need to mine to just get through the missions because what you really want to end up with within the first sort of 15 levels is you want to end up with the Envoy. And to be honest, you should be able to get this no problem because um, it's quite an easy ship to obtain. Obviously, this specializes in Tritanium, but quite frankly, you can just ignore that and just go and start mining the G2 um, different materials you need. You can use this for that. That is perfectly adequate. Just level this up to a decent-ish level, um, and you should be fine. Um, my one that I personally got up, if I look at my ships, so the one that I've personally used in the past uh, was my Envoy, and as you can see, my Envoy is this one. So I got mine to tier 7. And tier 7 is a perfectly adequate level. It doesn't take a huge amount, and this is a maxed out ship, by the way. The only thing that's not maxed out is the levels, but you don't really need the levels on this one as you're not going to be mining Tritanium too much. I always advise to level up your ships, depending on what type of ship they are, because this corresponds directly with the level of the ship. So when it comes to the faction ships, obviously they specialize in the different materials. Definitely level them ships up as they will obviously help. But try and get this to level tier 7. This will definitely help early game. And it will obviously help you get a decent enough strength to maybe fend off a few, you know, poachers or something like that. Won't you fend off too many, but it might deter some. And certainly stop other people using their survey ships against you as well. Again, using your different mining crews that I've just laid out before you. But what ship... That's the ship that you want to start off with. So get to this ship as fast as humanly possible. But the ship that you end up wanting to get, and I believe it's unlocked at level 24. Um, so you're going to have this for some time. So to, to just get used to it. You're going to have it for some time. There's no way around it. But the ship you want to get by level 24 is this. It's, it's going to be the ECS Horizon. You can over tier this if you really want to. It's still a pretty decent ship. I mean, I've got mine to tier five. I haven't gone too much further with that, to be fair. But a tier five with a few upgrades and just to get the warp range up and the, the mining laser, which is pretty decent. Again, this ship is for dilithium, so you don't really need to level too much of this ship either, unless you want to get the strength up a bit more. But it makes no difference in that regard. But this is the ship you want to aim for at level 24. And then this will see you basically until the end game if you really wanted it to. Obviously, it gets obsolete by the time you get to obviously in the 30s. It will become obsolete. However, it's still a pretty decent ship. You know, overall, 
Um, you're not going to want to use it, obviously, after your level 30s and onwards because you're going to have the faction ships. You're going to have, the obviously, the later faction ships as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, use them crew layouts I showed you. It's not going to make much difference what ship you use it in. Just try and spe specify sort of the officers depending on what type of material you're trying to go for. As the captain, try and get the biggest buffs possible on either side, i.e. the plus 30%. If you can get that, you'll get plus 60% on your, obviously, captain's ability. Therefore, taking that mining speed up to 100% bonus, which is going to obviously help you out in the long run. And uh, yeah, other than that, hopefully this video has been helpful to any of them people out there or you new guys out there. If this has been useful, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, as always, hit that like button as well as it helps me out massively. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now and fly safe.